नेक्स्ट इज चॉइस कॉट्स द कंपनी नेम इज चॉइस कॉट्स इजी टू डैश अगेन इजी टू समथिंग दे माई चूज द वर्ड सिंपल इजी और any other word like that uh, yes one more word they can use for easy it is not difficult to it is not difficult to or anything like that and answer is going to be a verb because after to we usually use verbs the next cot was by choice cots and this time our testers were pleased to find a cot which is simple to put together unlike others we looked at simple to put together and do you know what is the meaning of put together assemble exactly assemble like sometime you buy a product it's not like i bought a, a table from a company it was in the box and then a person came and he assembled that right they charged me 400 for that <laughs> anyways so put together put together means assemble now next they have question number 16 side did not drop down you know side of the cot it drops down spaces between the bars were answer is going to come with spaces spaces were narrow exactly spaces between the bars were narrow or anything like that question number 16 please listen and answer on the minor side our testers did not like the fact that the side of the cot did not drop down making it difficult to pick up newborn babies however the real problem with this cot was the space between the bars Our testers found they were too wide and a baby could easily trap his head. Too wide. The space between the bars and then they said they were too wide. They they used for the space between the bars. They were too wide. W I D E Y. Too wide is the right answer. Uh sorry. If you write only wide, yeah, even then they will accept. wide or too wide okay question number 17 is their verdict now final reaction final verdict to that we felt this was a real safety hazard and so we've labeled this one dangerous i'm afraid we've labeled this one danger now for verdict they use the word we've labeled this one verdict and labeled we've labeled this one as dangerous so the answer is dangerous dangerous yeah dangerous is the right answer next is mother's choice it's a company uh mother's choice base of cot could be moved question number 18 did not have any again for did not have they may use the word had no or there are no or it is with yeah another thing write it down without for did not have any they can use the word without if they say it is without this means did not have any right so uh, my shirt did not have any pockets it was without pockets let's see what do they say and finally better news for the mother's choice cot this cot was slightly different in that although the side bar did not drop down the base could be raised or lowered into two different positions making it safe as well as convenient The negatives for this one were quite minor. The only niggle everyone had was the fact that it has no wheels and the only other problem anyone could find Yeah, it was- has no wheels. Did not have any and it has no negative and it did uh, it has no. It has no wheels. Got it? Now see, once you learn to interpret the question in a number of different ways ielts listening will not be a problem because the language written here on your question booklet and the language spoken there in the speakers these two languages are different in wording similar in meaning okay huh ek hi banda bol raha sorry wheels w h l e l s yeah wheels paye Okay, question number nineteen, please. Verdict. Now, what's the verdict? Let's see. The makers have now promised to discontinue this practice, as this cot will then be safe in every way. We have made the Mother's Choice cot our best buy. Congratulations, Mother's Choice. We've made the Mother's Choice cot our best buy. Best buy, exactly. Best buy means it's best to buy this. Sure. in actual exam they don't repeat the audio remember that okay 
There also you say, hey, come on, order your peat car. The makers have now promised to discontinue this practice, as this cot will then be safe in every way. We have made the Mother's Choice cot our best buy. Congratulations, Mother's Choice. Okay, so that is best buy if you want to buy a cot for baby. This is the best one, right? All right. So, question number 20. Qu complete the notes below. Uh, write one word only for the answer. Usually students miss such type of one lonely question. Uh, metal should not be rusted or bent. Underline rusted. And after that your answer will come. Question number 20. Edges of court should not be. Now again should not be. Yes, that's right. Edges. It's, this is what we call uh, collocations. Edges should not be. And we use the word sharp edges. So if you go through collocations, you can answer the questions finally. No problem. Let's see. So what features should you look for in a baby's cot? Well, obviously, safety is a very important factor, as well as comfort and convenience. We recommend that if you are buying a cot, do make sure that any metal present is not rusted or bent in any way. You should ensure your cot has only rounded or smooth edging without any sharp edges. This is especially important for wooden cots. Without any. Must, should not be for that they use the word. Without any. So without any sharp edges. And edges they have already mentioned. Answer is sharp. 